Hi, I'm Phil Vickery. Welcome to my podcasts. Welcome to May's podcast. Now this month we're concentrating on cheesecake and a very simple cheesecake it is too. Here are the ingredients. Blueberries, lemon juice, icing sugar, passion fruit, butter, shortbread, mascarpone and carnation condensed milk. First thing to do is make a shortbread base. So we'll, first of all we'll melt some butter whilst I make the breadcrumbs. Now I'm cheating here, I'm using a mixer. You can actually use uh, a rolling pin, it's up to you. Just like that, place the crumbs into a deep bowl. Once it is melted, pour that over the shortbread. Give it a really good mix. There's not much butter in this, um, but it will set it quite firmly. Pour the crumbs straight into the baking tin. Don't pack it too firm, otherwise you won't be able to cut it later on. Now we're going to make the filling. This is the really important part. No gelatin is using this whatsoever, uh, and it's not a baked cheesecake, but it's a very clever way of making a, a, mo a mousse mixture. Here I've got mascarpone cheese. I'm going to spoon out and pop straight into a bowl. Can condensed milk, carnation condensed milk all over the top of the cheese. There will come a point when it won't whisk any further <clears throat> and that's about it. Juice here of lemons, you just add the whole mixture to it and you've probably got about six or seven seconds and it will thicken straight away so it completely avoids any gelatin whatsoever. Watch this. Juice in and just whisk the lemon juice in. And there is your cheesecake. Look at that. In the saucepan, I'm going to add some fresh blueberries. Juice of about a lemon again. And probably, I don't know, three or four sort of large spoons of icing sugar. And just cook that for, I don't know, three or four minutes until the blueberries start to pop and that is what we end up with. Look at that. Add half the mixture onto the base, just slightly over half. With a spoon right to the edge, like that. The reason for that is, you see that, is that will then hold the filling as I'll show you in a second. Spoon the cooled filling right into the centre. Like that, and just spread that out like that. Let them add and the rest of the filling on top. Okay, don't waste any. Just like that. Now, with a spoon, you can just fold the whole lot over like that completely sealing in the blueberries and then if you want to be very chef-y you can make a nice little decoration on top just like that clean the edge and then pop that into a fridge to chill for about two hours We need to make the, the garnish, or the topping for it, and this is passion fruit, which with it, if you cut in half and use a teaspoon, you can then take all the seeds out. Now here I have one that's been chilling for two hours, and as you'll see, it'll end up just like that. I'll just run around the edge of the tin like so. That will just warm the edge and release the tin from the cheesecake. Now if you don't have one of these, what you can do is just use a warm knife, 
down the edge and run around, run around the edge like normal. We'll just spoon on passion fruit all over the top. No gelatine whatsoever. And here is blueberry passion fruit cheesecake. Look at that. Really fantastic. For more delicious recipes, go to the Carnation website.